In this video, I'm going to walk you through some important concepts around Power Automate Desktop. Now, what is a Power Automate Desktop? Before we understand what a Power Automate Desktop is, let's start talking about Power Automate in itself. So Power Automate is a service that helps you create automated workflows. Now, it's a uh, part of Power Platform. So uh, Power Automate, with Power Automate, you can create cloud flows as well as desktop flows. Now, with Power Automate Desktop, you can execute desktop flows. It is primarily targeted towards Windows platform. So anything in Windows application, if you want to automate the mundane task, you can use Power Automate Desktop. Desktop flows broaden the existing RP, robotic process automation capabilities. Now it enables developers to uh, automate the repetitive task uh, in the Windows platform. Uh, the flows are authored in a flow designer interface uh, using the pre-built drag and drop actions. Uh, it has an ability to record actions using UI-based automation. So there is a recorder. So there is a Windows recorder within the application, which allows you to record some actions. Now, there are different RPA types which are supported by the Power Automate desktop. Uh, one is attended RPA, unattended RPA, hosted RPA. Now, these all things I'm going to cover in my future videos, but for time being, you can just assume that uh, these are some sort of RPAs which can be uh, either triggered by a human or it can be automated using uh, some system processes. Uh, when do we use this Power Automate Desktop? Now the use cases for this Power Automate Desktop is uh, if you have a legacy application, okay? If you have some Windows application built within your organization and if you want to automate that, if you do not have enough connectors in the uh, cloud flows, okay? Uh, which uh, may uh, allow you to automate some actions, okay? Uh, it can be used in modern web and desktop applications. Uh, you can use it to automate Excel activities like modifying Excel, storing data in Excel by uh, using some sort of automation. Uh, you can do some sort of a PDF manipulation as well. Uh, other great example is scraping the data from a website. Now, uh, you need to use it when the cloud flows are not sufficient. Uh, On-premises system needs automation. Okay. Now, Power Automate Desktop, when it is installed, it also installs something in your browser, so Edge and Chrome, to automate web-related tasks. Okay. So let me uh, walk you through the uh, the website, how it looks like. So I'm in make.powerautomate.com. This is the home page of Power Automate. Now. Here, uh, basically, when people come over here, they can create some flows, okay? So they create, they can create an automated cloud flow, they can create an instant flow, but that's something called as a desktop flow, which we are going to focus on. This automates processes on your desktop environment. So if you want to create a desktop flow, you just click on this button, okay? Now, if you want to see the flows which you have already created, you can click on my flows and click on desktop flows. So in this, section you will see all the flows which has been created by you okay now how do we uh, run a desktop flow okay how do we start those actions okay before you even create a desktop flow what i would recommend is to install some component so as you see over here in this install tab i click on it there is an option to install power automate for desktop so you go ahead and click on it it will download an executable and once it is installed, uh, I'll show you how it looks like, okay? So I've already installed it in my system. So you will see this icon of Power Automate. If you click on it, uh, a Windows application gets opened, okay? So this is that Windows application. And over here, you can select your environment, okay? So I have three environments, so I'm selecting some environment over here. Uh, then if I click on New Flow, I'm essentially creating a new Power Automate desktop flow. So I'll create a flow which uh, I'll say run some app. Okay, so that's my flow name. I click on create. Now I'll be presented in a um, 
and an interface whereby I can author my desktop flow. Now, it's, it's quite overwhelming for a start. Now, as you see on the left hand side, there are a lot of actions which we can use in our flows. Main area, this is the area whereby I can author the flow. There is a section called a subflow. So if I have something subflows created, I can utilize it or I can create a new subflow. Uh, I have an option to record my desktop actions. Okay. Uh, then I have an option to view the libraries. And on the right hand side, you see something called as a variables. Okay. So if I select this, this is a variable input output flow variable. Then if I click here, I can see UI elements. And if I click here, I can see all the images which has been captured. So we'll go through all this section one by one in the forthcoming videos. But for time being, what I'll do is like, I'll show you how to uh, <clears throat> create a simple desktop flow. Okay. So in this search actions, if I just type message, okay, I see something called as message box and it says display message. So the first desktop flow to be a simple one. I just dragged and dropped and it tells me what should I type. So I'll just say uh, Lauren ID. Okay, so that's the title of the message box. And this is, I'll just say, this is a cool automation journey. Okay, so I'm just putting a message to display. Message box icon, I want something as information. Message box button, I can select yes, no. And default button is the first button. And I believe that's it. So I just click on save. Okay. Now my flow is ready. Okay. Now what do I do with it? I just save this. Okay. So first I need to save my flow. Now it will save this flow. Uh, and then if I click on run, it will run this flow. So what should be the output is it should display simple message box. Now I run this and it showed me this. This is a cool automation journey and I click on yes or no and that's it. So this is an example of creating a very simple flow. Now, this won't add much value, okay? When you do some automation, like just showing message box is not automation, but we have set a foundation, we have set the stage to uh, add more actions, add more controls in our forthcoming videos, okay? So I'll go through actions one by one in my next video and uh, thereby we can start automating so that's it folks uh, thanks for watching uh, this video and uh, i'll try to cover some more advanced topics in the forthcoming video thank you